This right here is why we do it. All the beautiful, healthy food we're gonna be supplying for our family. We have bacon, prosciutto, copa, pasture-raised organic eggs, and look at all that beautiful kombucha. Good morning, modern steaders. It's time to go on our field trip. The one thing I will tell you right now is we need our rubber boots for this field trip. Better put on a winter jacket too. It's like 19 degrees out. A little chilly. Sorry Pluto, you can't come on the road trip. No. You gotta stay here and sleep on the wood stove. Can you handle that? Bet you don't mind, do you? Don't forget the coffee. Here we go. Look at all the frost melting off the window. See the frost all on the grass. Old man winter's here to stay, I bet you. We're here guys, any guesses? Oh no, I think that gave it away right there. Can you see them? How many piglets do you have right now? 150. Oh, that's funny. The one on the bank, the tan one, that must be a boy. Well, let's head down. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, these are These are new. These are just gilts. Oh, okay. These are, how big were yours compared to these? They're about that size. Yeah, because these came, these are spring pigs. These are, yep. They weren't as big as the red one. She's a good size. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Oh, you're ready to go out, aren't you? Hey. Oh, lay down. Lay down. Come on. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. That's a boy. Yeah. That's a boy. Uh, that's a boy. Uh, that's a boy. Uh, yeah. Oh. You all set now? Huh? You all set now? Come on, you can get up now. Go better now. Huh? Some sows. 
It's only half of them. Six, seven, eight, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, yeah. I got 47. You got 47 sows. And the rest of them are all just outside? Um, Somewhere? I got one in the barn. I got 44 sows, I got three gilts. I've got one sow in a barn, three gilts, and everybody else is out here. So he takes 60 or 70 or 80. I don't know if you can see him or not. Nope, not with this lens on. But Andy the guard rooster is over there. He survived the night. It's that time of the year. Let's load the truck up with some firewood. That sun feels nice today. But it's been chilly lately. We gotta back up to the house anyways. No point in going back with an empty truck. That's the farmer we got Spots and Mrs. Pigs from. And that's who we're gonna be getting our winter pigs from. That's right, we're getting winter pigs. We're gonna name them again. But we're not gonna name them like Spots or Mrs. Pigs. One of them we're gonna name Prosciutto, and I need a name for the other one. I want a food-based name for the pig. So everybody knows we're getting these pigs for a reason. We're getting them to be food, and we're gonna be putting on another pig class. We've been talking with Hand Hewn Farm. We're gonna most likely be doing an advanced class. We're not gonna be doing so much of the killing and the slaughtering in the class. We're gonna be doing more of the food, what we can do with the food, making more items with it, cooking with it. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a farm to table culinary class from head to tail. It's gonna be great. I can't wait to work it all out with Doug and Andy. So leave it in the comments down below and give us another name. We want another food name. Bacon, Copa. I like prosciutto so far. That rolls off the tongue pretty nicely. Look what just got dropped off by FedEx. Any ideas what it is? Hmm. That's a nice crate. Just gonna have to peel these over, open it up, and see what's inside. I like that crate. We can use that for other things. We could have got the piglets today, but I'm not quite ready for them, and we need to finish harvesting the chicken. So next week we'll go and get our winter piglets. What's in that box is tomorrow's video. So if you want to know what's in the box, make sure you stop by tomorrow. This is gonna make Saturday's job a lot easier. I'm looking forward to getting it out of the crate tomorrow. I don't got time today, I wish I did. <sighs> Piglets in another week. Another Lumna Acres and Hand Hewn Farm pig class coming up this spring. Oh, this is gonna be a great winter. I'm looking forward to raising these pigs in springtime. If you're going to be interested in that upcoming class, keep your eyes out for it. I'm not sure when it is yet. We're gonna have to work out all the details with Doug and Andy. It's gonna be fun. Yeah. I decided now is a good a time as any to cut up some of the down trees we had for firewood in the outdoor kitchen. I'm just kind of, I don't know, roughly 10, 12 inches long. I'm gonna stack them in here, let them finish drying out. We got random kinds of wood. This is wood that's been down. And I went around and cleared up some trees on the, some of the rock walls. We have some maple in here. I got some apple that was overgrown. We got some birch, yellow birch, all sorts of kind of wood but it'll be perfect for the outdoor kitchen.
It's hard because I want to keep good dry firewood inside. But I still need to insulate the wall. So I don't want to put too much wood in here and have it too close that I've got to move it all again. I have probably another bucket that I already had cut up. I'm going to leave that outside for now. I'll just get this bucket loaded in here. I bet you will burn up a good amount of this wood on Saturday. That makes me feel better. Now I know I have firewood for Saturday when I'm harvesting the chickens. I can stay warm, and if Olivia wants to come out, she'll have a warm spot to hang out too. You know what you almost forgot? Today's day 10. That means we gotta take the bacon out of the refrigerator, pat dry it, and get it ready for the second step of the curing process. I've already done the jowl bacon. Now we're doing the bacon bacon. You can either rinse it off or you can leave it and just pat dry it. So this one, let's see what happens when we pat dry it. If a lot of the pepper comes off or if a lot of it stays on. A lot of it stays on. We're not huge pepper people. I don't mind some, but I'm not gonna like it overly peppery. So we're gonna rinse it off. This one is salt, pepper, and brown sugar. Oh, it smells so good. So we'll rinse it off. Look at that bacon. Let me pat dry it first and I'll bring it closer. Oh, smells delicious. The skin is still on. Once we finish drying it for a week, we will cut the skin off, try it, if we like it, we'll slice it and leave it. Or we can decide from there if we want to try smoking it or not. This is not all of our bacon. This is just the experiment batch. I haven't weighed it. I should. I'm going to say we must have got close to 35 to 40 pounds of bacon off of one pig. You bring it in closer and show you this beautiful piece of pasture raised bacon. Oh, that's delicious. I'm just going to finish pat drying it. At this point, you can hang it in a cool, moisture-controlled place. We got our wood stove going. So most of the house is going to be pretty darn warm right now. We have an extra refrigerator, so we're going to keep it in our refrigerator. Who wouldn't want that sitting in their refrigerator? This other slab of bacon we have here is salt black pepper, and maple syrup. Oh, this is going to be delicious. Oh, yeah. That's a thing of beauty right there. Mmm, smells good. I have to wait another week before we can try it. Oh, you don't know how hard this has been. Talk about delayed gratification. First, you have to wait till you can get the piglets. Then you gotta raise the piglets up and grow them and feed them and care for them the best you can. We process them on farm. Now we're carrying the bacon. Hmm. Look at that. Doesn't that look beautiful? Yes, sir. I can't wait to get some of this pasture-raised bacon frying up in a frying pan. Oh, yes, sir, Rebob. Let's go to the basement.
Delicious. Look at that piece of bacon. If that don't make you hungry, I don't know what will. Bacon cam, what's better than that? Man, delicious. Ready? This is a beautiful sight. We have a prosciutto, a copa, and bacon, Karen. Look at that. We'll stick our last piece in the refrigerator. Awesome. We don't want them touching. We want to make sure the air can get around all the sides. That looks good. That's a nice modern stator refrigerator. This right here is why we do it. All the beautiful, healthy food we're going to be supplying for our family. We have bacon, prosciutto, copa, pasture-raised organic eggs, and look at all that beautiful kombucha. We have bone broth over here. Oh, 